if you want to claim the blessings of Abraham be ready to carry Isaac to that mountain we live in a generation that claims people's anointings and refuses their sacrifices anybody that you know who has become great today find out what they did there is always a season of preparation if you see anybody who breaks that rule run away from them they have nothing to offer you i have i tell you sincerely if you see any greatness that does not have a story and a track record of consistency with god there is not much to offer i've cried in my life oh you see me smiling all the time i'm only smiling before you ask god ah, the burden of this ministry the first time we organized crusade as a ministry then just starting we didn't even have money to pay the transport fare brothers and sisters this our generation must reduce this ungodly admiration that erodes the need for process please don't feel insulted i'm only stressing this because i want to pound it into your spirit behind every throne you see behind every throne you see there was a time i prayed for 72 hours non-stop my eyes did not know whether it was morning or night i don't say this to boast in the flesh but i am telling you ladies and gentlemen greatness does not just happen we live in a society that demeans the greatness and the value of people no I've had the honor and the privilege of knowing and being with a few of the fathers of faith in this nation. I tell you sometimes when you look at them, you can almost see in the spirit blood just dripping like rain on the ground. Their entire lives have become a drink offering. Before, even business people, before you admire people, you want to stretch your hands to the sick and they are healed. You want to tell someone stand up from a wheelchair and he stands. You want to open a church or an assembly and God honors you with people? Please let me tell you this. It is more than just claiming. There is a school of the spirit. There is a cup you must drink of and a baptism you must be baptized with. 